everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today, before I start, I have to let you know I have a really nasty cough, so if I'm hacking away, I am extremely sorry. Um, but I really wanted to get this video out. I've had so many people um, emailing me because I had mentioned on a video that I had done with my mom on making gunpak. Um, I had some people say, you mentioned caramel, caramel, something with caramel gunpak, so can you please show it? So I said, okay, fine. And um, so I thought, no, let me just do a caramel video, a gunpak video using caramel. But if you want, you can always use jaggery or, gun, or um, gore, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I've got some things already going here, and that's only the, the butter. The butter is melting. So I have one pound of unsalted butter, and for this, you always want to use unsalted butter. If you want to add a little bit of salt in it, you can add a pinch of it in there, but don't use salted butter. I've not had a very good experience with it. So into my big pot here, I put um, um, one fourth of the butter I put into a separate pan that we're gonna be using to melt um, our caramels in. And so it's just melting and I used the same pot here right now to do my Gujarati video. So, and I have here one and a half cups of caramel pieces which is actually the craft caramels here. So I used about, um, I used a little bit more than a bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this in here so I can show you the other things while this is melting. So you wanna make sure you keep a close eye on this. So you don't want this to burn. So it's on really, really low heat and it's just going to melt really slowly. Here I have in the big pot, I have some butter. So basically, if you're gonna do a, a whole pound, I'm gonna try and be as descriptive as possible. So four sticks of butter, I used one stick to melt the caramel. Three sticks of butter went in here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add two and a half cups of wheat flour. Um, this is not all purpose flour, this is wheat flour. So um, once I put this in there, I'm gonna show you all the other ingredients and some of the tricks to how to make this um, simple and easy to do. So we're gonna fry this in the butter and um, we're also gonna be adding a couple of different flours in there and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know in just a second. And what we're gonna do is we want to uh, make this really uh, cooked well and also you will see a really nice aroma come out of this. And I have to thank my mom, Razia Ramtula, for this recipe because seriously, she is really well known for this recipe. She's, she, everybody says that she makes the most amazing gunpak in the world. So thanks, mom. Um, so as we're frying this, I'm gonna come back here, just gonna keep on checking on our caramel. We want this all melted completely. Now again, this caramel invention was my mom's um, with the gunpak, because I used to not eat gunpak at all. And when I had my daughter, uh, my second daughter who's going to be 18 this year she um, made me this caramel gunpak just so that i would eat it because it's uh, good for you when you um, give birth so all right so this is um the the flour here is on about medium low and we'll, we'll keep a good eye on it let it fry up so here is my half a cup we're going to put half a cup of chickpea flour in here or chananu lot half cup of soji, which is semolina. I've got one fourth cup of desiccated coconut right here, it's dried. Um, I've got a teaspoon of cardamom crushed and I've got about nine to 10 uh, saffron pieces of uh, saffron here, or kesar, which is called kesar. I've got two and a half cups of, or is it two and a half cups of, um, It's, what, uh, it's two cups of almonds crushed, and I wanna make sure that I give you the right measurements. The two, everything should pop up on the right-hand side of the screen here, but we're gonna use, so out of the two cups, we're gonna reserve half cup for garnishing. I have some poppy seeds here, about a tablespoon of it, we're gonna use that as garnishing. I have one and a half cups of gund, which is edible gum. Um, it comes in a packet like this, and there's a sticker right in between it, and I won't be able to take it out, but. It's edible gum. It comes like this. And you, what you want to do, there's a different, some uh, uh, different varieties that are available in this. You can get some big pieces. I usually get the smallest pieces. It just makes my life so much easier because I don't fry the, the gund 
uh, or the edible gum in ghee, which previously pe uh, people used to do. But it already has a pound of butter in it, and I don't want to fry this at all. So what we do with this, if you can find the smallest pieces, and the, it is available in your Indian grocery stores, or you could also order this from Amazon. And Swad is the company, the only company that I've seen that has the small pieces in there. So what I did was I took a plate, I cut a piece of parchment paper round, I opened the package and I put a, a, a flat layer of it onto my plate. I stuck it into the microwave for about a minute and I did this until the whole packet was finished. And I actually did this a day before. So whenever I'm making this, I do prepare some of the things a day before. And uh, um, doing the bund is one thing, crushing the almonds is the other. And if I'm using jaggery, then I will um, make uh, put this the jaggery in the microwave for two minutes on defrost and then just cut it up and get that ready but today we're not using jaggery but i just wanted you to see that it it can be used and i do have a recipe of that on youtube if you want to check it out so as this is still frying i'm going to go ahead and add my um chickpea flour because i want that to cook too and my soji in here too which is my semolina because i want these to roast in there as well Now, if you just keep these little three things ahead of time, just get them done ahead of time. Um, or if you're using caramel like me, have your kids come. Oh no, don't have your kids come because I lost a whole day because they were unwrapping them and they ate half of it. So make sure you get those all unwrapped and ready to go. So the next day when you're ready to make this, it's just mixing and frying. That's all you have to do. All right, so while that's cooking, let's get back here. See how our car caramel is coming up and it's melting and it's melting slowly, which is perfect because I don't want to burn it. So we'll wait until it's completely melted. All right, now, so basically what we want to do with, <coughs> you want to take the coconut and you want to take your cardamom and your saffron you just want to mix that just keep it ready it already once you you know once the cardamom comes out you know you're making something sweet already smells amazing this is perfect for Diwali's it's perfect for Eid you know it's perfect for taking to the mosque as um, offerings or as um, Fatya um, So you just want to keep on cooking this until it really, really gives out a really nice scent and which I'm still not getting at the moment. So I'm going to continue cook this and we're going to come back and I'm going to show you once it's ready and the caramel is melted, we're going to mix everything together and we'll be done. So you can see this has been cooking up for about 12 minutes now and I can see that the color has changed just a little bit and it smells amazing so at this point i also want you to take a look at our caramel look at how it's melted up really really well so i'm going to switch up the flame because now it's just going to be mixing real quick so to this i'm going to go ahead and add our coconut the desiccated coconut and the cardamom mixture just make sure everything is combined really well Next goes in our almonds. And I'm gonna reserve the half cup for the top. Stir this really well. As soon as, you know, the cardamom and the coconut goes in, it smells like gunpak, that we're making gunpak. So, and then also if you live in a place where you can get a hold of gantlu, which is a, um, a kind of a medicine that they put in, it's made of different herbs for mothers. You can add that in there if you like. We don't get it readily very much available here, so I don't have any to put in, in there. In goes the, our um, gund or edible gum. Okay. And it's really nice because it's all popped so you don't have to cook it anymore. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and shut off 
our stove and then I'm going to pour in our caramel. I have my tray ready that I'm going to use to set this in and this will make for me it makes about 48 pieces now again it depends on how many pieces or how big or small you're gonna cut them but I'm gonna show you the one that I already did for my Gujarati video and I'll show you what that looks like so you'll get an idea um, and you can either cut them in diamond shapes or you can cut them in squares you just want to mix this really really well and you want to be quick Okay, once you get everything mixed up really well, we're just gonna go ahead and set this in our tray. And you can see that the mixture is gonna be quite wet, so you're gonna know that this is gonna set really well. You're not gonna have any issues. So at this point, please be very careful. When you're working with caramel and mitais, it can get really, really hot, so just be really careful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just take back of a spoon and we're just going to set this. And you just want to do this right away because the caramel, once it starts getting um, harder, you're going to have a hard time setting it. So it's nice to kind of work in it in the, in the summertime and it's actually getting to be spring right now here. So it's perfect because in the winter, it cools down so quickly and it's so hard to make it with the caramel because you just got to work really, really quickly. It's not hard, but it's just a little tedious because you have to work really, really hard with it, or fast with it. Okay, I'm just going to set this. Now I'm going to take a spatula and just make sure that we do it like this, the ends, so that one also. Okay, while it's still wet, we're going to take our poppy seeds, our white poppy seeds, and we're just going to sprinkle that. And when you do that, just make sure we kind of run our spatula and make sure that it's going to be inside so you don't lose any. Then we're going to take our almonds, and you could do pistachios if you like. They're just really, really, really expensive here, so I'm just doing the almonds. Okay. Now just dab it so that the bigger pieces kind of go inside and you don't lose any. Okay, so it's done. And what you want to do at this point is just go ahead and make some indentations like um, just so that once it gets, and I'll show you the one that I did in Gujarati, once it gets a little bit hard, it's easier just to run your knife through it and it's gonna cut easily. This, um, Works really well. You can make it for Diwali or for my uh, or for our Ramadan. You can make it for Eid. You can make it for festivities. Um, so many different things you can do with it. Okay, so we have that. Let me go grab the one that I already did. I just want to show you that the one that I did here is the one that we use the jaggery in. But see when I tell you, when I said make the pieces, because you, then you're just going to come back and you're just going to help with the, you know, if you just put your finger, uh, knife in, it's going to cut. So um, basically that's it. So today we learned how to make my mom's caramel gunpak. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.